This is Replicant Fish. Ever so glad you could join me again. So today I want to try something a little different. I want to break the topic down into three parts. But to begin, the topic is Why Insecure Women Make Men's Lives Harder Part 1 is Dating an Insecure Woman Part 2 is Insecure by Design And Part 3 why men should be more secure in themselves. And if you've noticed, I haven't used 2020, but I might do tomorrow. But seriously, part one, dating an insecure woman. The thing about dating a woman is, you can't be sure how she actually is until later on, until after a certain amount of time, until after, let's say she gets comfortable. Because when a woman is comfortable enough, when she's comfortable knowing what you will and will not do, that's when a woman can test you. She can see how far she can push you. Another thing about dating an insecure woman, many women feel as if they have to be right all the time. They feel as if what they say is important and matters more than what you say. You see, women don't like to take the blame, to acknowledge their faults, to see where they go wrong and admit that they are doing wrong or going wrong or going crazy. So in dating an insecure woman, many men find that they have to constantly reassure the woman. Reassure her that he's not cheating. Reassure her that she's appealing, attractive, alluring, all that crap. Reassure her that he isn't going anywhere. That he's not going to leave her and run off and flee and run for his life. He has to reassure her of her worth. But what many men learn the hard way is, no matter what you do, you are playing a losing game in trying to secure and reassure an insecure woman. Because her insecurities go beyond anything you're trying to do. Her insecurities could be formed by her past, her current life, and her worries about the future. Her insecurities could be formed on how she may look in comparison to other women, what she may have in comparison to other women where her life is going, what sort of man she can get, and along with that, her emotions. So many men find that they can try and try to secure a woman, make her feel good, make her feel wanted, make her feel desired, make her feel special, and all that crap. But they realize that an insecure woman that can never step back and see what's going on, to see her own faults, a woman as such would stay insecure forever. She will always be insecure. She will always have the issue of her insecurities. And you as a man dating her, you will suffer with the insecurities she has. You will suffer with trying to secure her, convince her. You may battle with her on simple things, things that don't matter, but, but to her they're huge. It really matters. It makes her feel away right now. Many men have realized that a uh, Highly insecure woman is best not around him, is best somewhere else, is best with another man. Because through a woman's insecurities, she could actually make a man, make you, feel less secure about yourself. Part 2 Insecure by design. As in, it's a modern, societal, cultural, world thing to feed on women's insecurities. I made the point a few videos back about future businesses based on women's insecurities. Now some would say that's disgusting to think that, but I would point out the companies, the million and billion dollar companies that do this today, that do this already. You see, women do this thing nowadays of masking their insecurity with entitlement, rage, attitude, and just a very hard, and toxic nature. You see, as a man, I would be seen as toxic because of what I'm talking about, even though I'm not swearing or anything or even actually saying anything bad about women, just making some points. But the simple fact is, many women aren't told that the way they go on is bad, and it shows your insecurities on a large scale. It doesn't show how strong and powerful modern women are. No, it shows how weak they actually are. Because it seems as if women constantly need a boost constantly need the reassurance. You see, it's not the micro scale of the relationship now, it's the macro scale of society on a whole. How 
the government, if you will, or the ones in power, how they give women this constant fake reassurance, yet still feed off their insecurities. It provides them with feminism and it gives them this so-called fake power that many of us as men can see is fake power. And many women get up themselves, they become extremely entitled and they feel as if they can talk to men and anyone they want to in any way they want to. And men should still want them. But what's happening is things aren't going the way they expect them to go. So because of this and the constant fueling that it should be this, more and more women are becoming more insecure, yet they cover that up with fake empowerment nonsense, fake independent nonsense. When truly, a lot of women barely love themselves. Yes, of course, they're still selfish, but just because someone's selfish does not mean they love themselves. Do not be fooled by that. She may buy expensive things for herself, but that may be just to cover up her pain. The pain she has as to what she had to do to get that money. Be it the good way or the bad way. You see, women are the biggest spenders. Keeping women insecure means they will spend more to find that security. To hopefully get and hold onto that security. So by feeding off their insecurities and making them think and believe they're getting what they want, you can almost keep them in this loop of chasing a feeling that, that they will never actually find. They may get close, but it's still just out of reach. Part 3. Why men should be more secure in themselves. Now, in speaking of women's insecurities, it's not as if men, we as men, don't have insecurities as well. Of course we do. We know we do. And if you think you don't, a good way of self-improvement is to admit your crap, your good, your bad. Admit everything about yourself, to yourself. Doesn't matter to anyone else. It matters to you to admit yourself to yourself. You see, there are many reasons men are insecure and men can be insecure nowadays. A large reason for men to be insecure is women. For some men who have trouble getting them, then you have some men that get them and then end up becoming insecure by what the woman has done to them. And then you have men that have been so traumatized that they're just so numb, they could possibly never feel anything for a woman again. And because masculinity is being crushed nowadays, it's difficult for men to find sources of, let's say, masculine inspiration, masculine motivation, just something inherently men, man, that can make a man feel better about himself, that can make a man understand himself more, that could make a man want to be better, that could make a man have the more stoic point of view, not the nihilistic one to have the world burn and destroy. Yes, for as crap as the world may be, there's still much beauty to behold. We as men are beholden to our eyes, beholden to the stunning curves of a woman, how easy it is to get lost in those curves. But for many men to struggle to get those curves or to know how they are manipulated by those curves, how those shapely curves could make a man feel damned insecure about himself because of his drive for it, yet his understanding of the destruction it brings, it could possibly bring. Men should be more secure in themselves to understand, to lower the heights in which you put women on. To not hate them, no, to just see them as just female human beings. To understand, they will do many things to your life. They're not fairies, they're not angels, they're not goddesses, they're not queens. They're just female human beings. Not in a bad way, in a simple way. It's just a woman, basically. Yay. And the point to understand, you are the man. You're the man. You the man. The point is, you're the man. Things happen when we do them. Things change when we change them. Things manifest in a grand way when we as men manifest them. To see yourself as a prize is to understand your value as a man in this world. Yet strangely, the most secure thing in this world for many women is actually a man. But that's if he actually wants her. Focus. Observe. Remember, the world is yours. Have 
a nice day.